What's going on my YouTube family? This is your boy So Stylistic again and I'm just here back with another video. Me working in the salon, you know, working at Magic, doing what I do. Um, many of you have already seen this video on my Instagram page, but this was actually a video of me just um, playing with my client's hair after I styled it. I gave her some color. I went back and gave her some highlights in the end. Um, I didn't go all the way to a root. We like the dark root, so we kept it like that. But I just wanted you to see how versatile the cut was with the color. Uh, as you can see, she can wear it different ways. She is natural. She does not have a relaxer. Um, she has a great texture of hair, which I think all ethnic people have a great texture of hair, but she has that hair. You don't have to really do too much to all right, so this video here, I'm just showing a foiling technique. I actually was in class with my students and we were in color and we were doing foils and I was telling them that majority of my clients, they have color, um, but their color is very healthy. I make sure that the color is healthy. I either add Olaplex treatments um, if needed, um, pretty much doing that most of the time. Uh, making sure that I'm adding a buffer in between uh, not just the buffer of hair but maybe oil to the lightener if I'm using lightener and I am using lightener on her now what I wanted to go in and do was just do a couple of folds towards her front area and the fringe area just to give her a little bit more pop she has some color already on the ends it was old color um, so I just wanted to give her a little bit more pop um, up in her bang area. So I'm just doing a couple of folds. I think I did about uh, seven to 10 folds. I'm not sure you guys can count, but i um, just showing um, product placement and um, my foiling technique. I don't think that I am the best, but I try to do what I can do and do it well. So this is a video of that. I'm also gonna show you after I get finished with this um, what it looks like before I style it um, after it's been blow dried. I did have to go in and tone her because again, I am using um, Tim Volume Developer Matrix um, V Light uh, powder and Tim Volume Developer just to um, go in and just lighten her up a little bit. But I went back in and I toned her down to a natural copper NC from Joyco and you guys will see that coming up in this video as soon as I'm done showing this I hope you guys enjoy make sure before you leave this channel that you like subscribe and comment in the comment section below hit that thumbs up button for me please I love it every time you do it So as you can see here, I'm finishing up my foils and I'm going back and I'm checking my first foil. You always go back and check where you started. And I did it um, periodically throughout what I was doing. You can see that the color is already lifting. I'm having to go back in and add a little bit more product to saturate. Um, make sure that you saturate um, your foils so that the product can get in really, really good. And so I'm just going back and I'm checking my foils making sure that none of them are bleeding which they're not and i'm happy about that because we don't want her to have any tiger stripes and i'm just going back and adding a little bit more product to areas where i see it's a little bit dark and it's not turning um, where i want it to be but she has some areas that were turning a little bit quicker 
and I wasn't thinking at the beginning I should have used my porosity spray and sprayed it on. I thought about it after the fact, but it is what it is. Now it came out beautiful. Um, as you can see, I moved to the side of the head um, because I'm also going in and just I'm just going to add like I think maybe two. I can't remember. We'll see. I'm just going in adding um, two little peekaboo. Um, yeah, I went on each side. There it goes. <laughs> So I'm going on each side and just, and as you can do, I'm I'm doing a um zigzag effect and just going in and adding a couple of peekaboos on the side. So if our hair falls over, you can still see the color there. It's a little peekaboo area. I like having fun with color. So yeah, that's what we did there. And now I'm going back again and I'm checking where I started and we're getting good lift now in case you didn't know most ethnic people so she's turning really good right now so here I've shampooed um, I've also conditioned I gave her a steam condition um, and now we're just looking at it. I blow dried her because she's natural in the top. She does get a relaxer, but the relaxer... Okay, let me take that back. She's not natural in the top, but she does not get a relaxer as often in the top as some people would. I stretch her relaxers because she likes color. We have to learn how to do that. So, stylist, I am constantly getting on y'all about that all the time but as you can see i'm just showing you um that there was no bleeding for placement was good and right here i've gone in i've styled her and i'm just this this color came out really really good she likes that she wanted a nice fall color because she had been red for a very long time so we gave her a copper color that came out very pretty i was very pleased and she was really really pleased with it which Marsha is awesome when it comes to, she's, she's simple, but she loves everything that I do, I have to say. So just showing you how the placement is. It's up in her fringe area where you can really see it. She's going to be able to see it. And it's looking really nice. So, guys, once again, thank you so much. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button before you leave off this page. I would appreciate it. I love you guys. Peace out.